Hello everyone, how are we doing? Welcome to another stream! Uh, I might sound a little different. I got a new microphone. Looks very similar, but it is a different microphone. So if anything needs adjusting, please let me know. It might sound a bit different, so I'm gonna have to play with the settings, I'm sure. Um, I did so before stream as well, but you know. No one's gonna be a better judge than you people who watch the show all the time. I just host it. So how's everyone doing? Sounds fine? That's good. Um... No more st We're on the middle of a hype train, first of all. Thank you, everyone. 25% to level 2 so far. It's been a while, so if we get to level 5, that'd be dope. <laughs> Change my st stream directory. Thank you. I must have left it on Stardew Valley. Whoops. Ah, genius on my part. Thank you. Corrected. Um, no more status quo. Thanks for seven months, says seven months. Is it too late to abort? Oof. Uh, Mr. Blast, thanks for 14 months. Um, Stone Corbell, thanks for 25. Nick Snort, thanks for 25 as well. Yours truly, the one pony, says let's get this train a-moving. New, a newer Jesus cartoon with cube Jesus. How exciting. <laughs> why is, why is he a cube? Why is our why is their lord and savior a geometric representation? <laughs> um you sure SM27? I don't get it. I don't I don't understand. <sighs> is the underside of the hat the galaxy? It is. I got this on Etsy. I think you can still get them on Etsy. The same person probably sells them. There's like a wire in the brim too, so it kind of stays where it is. It's nice. It's genuinely clear, but it's a ton more selective about picking up if you're at an angle. Oh, I might have it set on the wrong thing. Hold on. Is that any better? How about that? Talking, talking. Maybe it's a little better if I'm over here. Let me know. <sighs> yep, good, cool. Yeah, I had it set to the wrong setting. That's my fault. But other than that, hopefully it sounds a little better. That would be nice. I haven't had a new mic in about seven years. So if they haven't improved mic technology in the last seven years, blame the mic industry, the people who make microphones. Everyone... Can we get an F in chat for the old mic that I've had for the past almost decade? F's in chat. Look at how gross the mic sock got on it, too, because the cats rub on it all the time. <laughs> the mic served us well, okay? And now, as I've been told happens in sports, we will commemorate it by raising it to the rafters. And by rafters, I mean, I don't know, I guess it'll go right here. <laughs> That's a retired mic. Unless there's an emergency, then I'll have to use it, probably. <laughs> this one breaks. Um, Jillyfish, thanks for 11 months, getting us 55% to level 2. Minute left on the hype train. Don't let it die before you even get to level 2, chat. You're better than that. Why is my mini feed not working, though? That's interesting. Like, my notifications aren't popping up. Hmm. Weird. Prokagon, thanks for gifting five tier one subs and saving the train. Appreciate you and all you do for the community. Getting us over level two. Baja with a link to the witch hat, which is a sweet hat that I recommend getting. I got purple and then the secondary color I got... I want to say it's whatever, whatever pattern this is which I want to say is pattern number eight. So I got number eight with the brim, which they do have in stock, but they have different patterns if you'd prefer something else. Netzerk, thanks for 18 months as hype. That's a second sub baby. The second sub baby's name is going to be Alyssa. Fantano. Logarth says hype also, haha, this media is nightmare fuel. Um. Hamather Sig, thanks for six months. The extra, welcome. 28% to level four. Yeah. I, 
think this hat turns out pretty nice. I do need to clean it, like get a roller, just because I'm sure there's cat hair on it, because we have cats. But it's a very nice hat that's held up well over the year to have had it. Yours truly, the one pony says, since we're talking about terrible shows that's not terrible but kind of bizarre, this was a show that taught you the alphabet. They were called the, the Letter People. This is Mr. N. That concerns me. I'm Mr. N with the noisy nose. Noisy nose, noisy nose that goes. My noisy nose is a nose that knows, knows that knows, knows that knows how to make a lot of funny different sounds. I'm a nut. Okie Dad says, yay, letter Here's people, Gen X represent. 34% to level 4. Here's a naughty note. Is it a Here's fart? A nice note. Lots of nice. Alright then. Guys, good news. Guess what I found at the thrift store yesterday? Finish up the hype train for me, will you, so I can play my music in peace. <laughs> First name Bunch of Dumber says, Wow, new sleep paralysis demon just dropped. <laughs> says she shan see shanty hannah logard says are you a squeezard i don't know what that is level five hyper i keep going true we're at 40 percent to level four get us to level five or this becomes an accordion stream <laughs> says Hannah was weird all along. That's true. Yeah. Hannah was weird Al all along. That makes more sense. I thought it was weird Al or Fence either way, but... 30 seconds left in the hype train with only 45%. What more do I need to do? Jody Curl with 18 months says, need a sibling for Fjord McNasty. <laughs> Uh, normal Steve. Normal Steve. Uh, you're surely the one pony says, just polka all stream. Prokagam says, I ask for Danzy regularly. Do you think this can break me? True. <laughs> to hear when I'm backed up. The accordion probably doesn't help either. Who's your friend? Thanks for uh, 1,200 bits. 
Not enough, uh, not quite fast enough to save the train, but nonetheless, appreciate you. Overthought says, you forgot some of us like Danzy and pain don't stuff now. Ooh, woo. True. All right, let's get into the stupid kid shows. <laughs> I don't know. What, what, what are you going to... Someone sent Cubekins. What the fuck is Cubekins? Dr. Gamble says, Odd names to have. Weird Al, Normal Steve, and Tad Strange. <laughs> I don't like... He's giving me off-brand Minions vibes, and I'm not a fan. It's like a Minion had sex with that one Digimon and then had a baby. You know the Digimon I'm talking about, right? I'm not crazy. <sighs> project grow out of some boomer seeing kids playing minecraft and go kids must like cubes i know how to tap into the youth market for christ we need more angles <laughs> believe it or not this is probably the highest budget looking thing i have pulled up <laughs> and i didn't pick this someone else did i picked much cheaper looking ones Invasion of the Cubecumbers. Wow. They're clipping right through the bowl. <laughs> Good physics. Oh no! Uh-oh, what happened? You're supposed to put the milk in after the cereal, Kip. Oh, I know, but that's so boring. I like to do things my way. Oh, I hate him already. What an asshole. I'm guessing he's the goofest to her gallant for any highlights fans out there. <laughs> I had to turn a fan on. I'm getting warm. Sorry. This mic quality. What does that mean? Is it good? I can't tell if it's good or bad. Is the mic good, people? Is the fan annoying? Things always turn out better when you follow the directions, Kip. Even cereal. Old Mick. Oh, the show, yeah. Cubekin had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Oh, I'm telling you. <gasps> it's Cubus. Oh my God, look at him. He's fucking majestic. Was he like... <laughs> Was he like crucified on a cross that was less like tall, so it's a little more cubic and less rectangular? Like, no, no, okay. Jan, this could be great. It has all the signs of a homegrown success. Oh, I love your new. This is just shitty Roly Poly Oli. Remember Roly Poly Oli? Roly Poly Oli, I'll have you know. It's from like 20 years ago, and I think it looks better than this. Just pointing it out, okay? <sighs> Your job ideas, Dad. What's it gonna be this week? So, here's the idea, Kip. Growing organic, free-range cucumbers. Genius, Dad. What's a cucumber? Okay. I think it could work, Ed. Have you prayed about it? Gardens need a lot of work. D imagine having the feeling that you have so little agency over the decisions in your own life that you feel the need to talk to the omnipotent creator of the universe in order to get permission to plant a garden in your own backyard. <laughs> and we have lots of workers right here. What could go wrong, right? Oh, Child oh, labor. Dad, let me help. Please? Sure, son, but growing these veggies isn't easy. There's lots of steps and detailed instructions. I can do it, Dad. You'll see. Okay, my little chip. But do you think you could get Finn to help? With his brains and your energy? 
We'll get this idea up and running in no time. Sure, Finn's my best pal. He'll help me out with anything. Uh, Dad, where are you gonna grow these cucumbers? Oh, that's easy. There's plenty of room in the backyard. Once we move that old playset out of the way. Dad, I need that playset. I just got it all cleaned off and ready for my next pet delivery. They're due. Wait, he's gonna get rid of his kid's playhouse because he wants to grow cucumbers? What a Sigma move. Kids, get out of the way. Your father wants to grow some cucumbers, okay? It's time to destroy one of your loved childhood play places. Yours truly, the one pony says, who, 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 Carlos. Do any day now, and I need that play set to help with their growth and development. Don't worry, Kara. We can figure out how to grow dad's cucumbers and help your pets. Finn and I will take care of everything, Dad. This is gonna be great! Okay, Kip. I'll go make you a list of jobs. Just remember to follow all the directions. I'll go get the InstaCell account set up. Uh, that is, if all this is okay with your mom. So, what do you think, hon? Well, I guess whatever we don't sell, we can eat. And I'm always saying the kids need more veggies. Ew! Cucumbers are vegetables? <laughs> that looks like a plastic, like, house that could be moved by hand. Why? Wait, are we allowing the children to operate heavy machinery? I think you're explicitly not supposed to do that. Would you just look at all this? A mess. A complete mess. Nothing's done yet and everything's in a pile. Oh, for some silly cucumbers. Correction, we're growing cube cumbers, not cucumbers. What? Okay, so in this universe, there are both cucumbers and cube cumbers. Normally in a show like this where there's like a, it's like a, some weird universe where things are different. If they do a pun thing like this, then there aren't cucumbers, there are just cucumbers. So there are both in this world, which is interesting. What's the difference, Finn? Not much, technically. They're still cucumbers, of course. But with our special seeds, they'll grow into rectangular prisms called cuboids. What for? For better, uh, stacking and snacking? <laughs> Ugh, I don't care what you call them or why. But I do know one thing, Kip Cubekin. You'd better get my playset back together. My new pets are gonna need it. Kara, there's a package for you at the front door. It's my pet store delivery. They're here. They need help, Kara? Never mind. Kip, look at these list of chores. Kip. Shovel soil evenly, build trellis neatly, plant carefully, fertilize sparingly. Okay, the dad made it sound like he wanted to garden, but apparently what he meant by that was, I want my children to grow me cucumbers for me. Because <laughs> it seems like the dad isn't doing anything. They, he just wants his kid to grow a garden for him. Dr. Campbell says, ah, dad signed the child labor law, his frost punk city. How long till the dad signs the new faith law? I haven't played enough Frostpunk to get that reference. I understood about half. I don't know what new faith law is. Look at these list of chores. We're never gonna get all this done. Sure we will. I've got shortcuts planned out for half of them. But Kip, your dad wrote follow directions exactly. I know, but what could go wrong, right? Look what the pet shop sent over for me to raise! Super rare dimple-cheeked fox turtles! Aren't they so Okay, cute? I think I figured out what makes me uncomfortable. They have two, like, pupils and retina, but they have one eye. It's like they have one eye, like Mike Wazowski, or again, like that Digimon. But there's just two eyes worth of eye in the eye. <laughs> and it makes me very uncomfortable. You so cute! What are they for? 
what do you mean, what are they for? I mean, what's their purpose? What function do they serve? <sighs> They're cute, Finn. Their purpose is cuteness. They serve cuteness. Get my place set back together. <clears throat> Please. Three, two, one penguins and veggie tails are more entertaining okay. than this. <laughs> As a kid, I like I like both of those. It's time to stay really calm. I should have spent more time in Psalms, cause now I've gotta go train my turtles. This is a true big girl job to take an untrained turtle mob to show the pet store I can train my turtles. Train my turtles. Their purpose is to be cute, but I might give that the boot. Wondering is there more to my turtles' purpose? I've got to be a big girl so I can make it in the world. Lord, I sure could use some help training turtles. I'm gonna skip over the song if that's fine. You're doing. Yeah. Balloon last cucumber seeds in the ground. Check that off the list. What's next, Finn? Balloon manure fertilizer. 1,000 time yield strength. It's time to read the- Which Digimon? The one I won. One I Digimon. This one. He reminds me of this one, whatever this is. He's yellow and he's got a big eye. He looks like Mike Wazowski but a sperm. <laughs> Accompanying 40 page man. Oh, that's Monster Rancher? I apologize. <laughs> I feel like I've offended so many people here. With all the instructions, usage directions, safety regulations, complex chemical compounds, and... What? That will take forever. We've been out here all day. But we have to do it. You just sprinkle it on. I watched Pokemon growing up. Don't judge me. I don't know Digimon. I'm sorry. It looked like a Digimon to me. The directions? <laughs> Way too long to read. But the rules take too much time. If it makes you feel better, I don't even know what the fuck Monster Rancher is. What the fertilizer? Needs to go on the sheets. I was going to make a bomb joke about the fertilizer, but then the show did it, so... That's fine. Uh, so if a little's good, then a lot is better. Hydrate. All right? I don't think so. Don't tell dad. I gotta go home. I gotta go wash my spreadsheets. Whoa, would you look at all this? I cannot believe how much growth we're getting here. Kip, you're a prodigy, my boy. A wonder kind, a vegetable kind. Ah, uh, that's great, Dad. Thanks. Too many, too many, we use too much. Shh. I am so proud of you, little cubes. You checked off the list and you must have followed all the directions. These are the healthiest plants I've ever seen. Thanks to you, I'll post these pics to my InstaCell account and wait for the orders to come rolling in. Oh, please don't thank me, Mr. Cubekin. Please. But hun, where are we gonna store all these cucumbers until they sell? No need to worry, my love. We'll eat what we don't sell. And these things will be this selling before you can say? Zoomers. I feel like it's almost disrespectful to call this d Veggie Tales for Zoomers. <laughs> Veggie Tales was funnier than this. What could go wrong, right? <laughs> you betcha. Like, I think if I put on a Veggie Tales episode right now, and I remember a fair few of them, I'd laugh at at least a couple of the jokes. This isn't funny. It's just, eh. It's not even, like, cringy. Like, let me put it this way. I'm not embarrassed for the people who made this. It's just so mediocre. <laughs> Are they just having cucumbers for dinner? Because you'll die. Cucumbers are non, like you don't get energy from cucumbers. Like cucumbers are zero calorie, practically speaking, for you as a human being. 
You are not going to get nutrition from eating cucumbers enough to, like, sustain yourself. It doesn't give your body energy. That's why you can eat pickles and not, like... This is Pris Pearson signing off from Big Box City with Four Square News, where we give it to you, Square. If you were me as a kid, I neither watched Pokemon, Digimon, uh, or Sailor Moon. Oof. Did you hear that? About the fire in Big Box City that's left over 50 cubes homeless? 50? Isn't that the number of cucumbers we've had to eat today? Maybe the number of days we've been eating these things? I don't even live here! That's terrible, hon. I wonder what we can do to help them. Well, we could gather up our two small kids' clothes and send them. That's easy. But what to do with 50 hungry cubes? We'll have to pray on that one. James 1 Thanks 5 for says, if in your lacking in wisdom, they should ask God, who gives oh, generously I definitely to can't all watch without that. finding fault. <laughs> I'll pray with you, huh? Viacom Praying sends their regards. God, our hearts ache, and we cry out to you. We pray 1 Kings 8 28 to you. Yet give attention to your servant's prayer and his plea for mercy, Lord my God. Hear the cry and the prayer that your servant is praying in your presence this day. Father, I could not say it better than that. Thank you for my wife and her heart. Help me to care as deeply for those in need. I desire to reflect your goodness and grace. Amen. Okay, boys, finish up your breakfast and hit the backyard. Those cucumbers won't pick themselves. There's only 10 minutes left in this, Jesus Christ. I just want to know, okay, they, they get the cucumbers. They sing a song that I don't want to hear. Every time I pick one, five more go in its place. How many have we picked today? 5,574? 5,575? Do I think they live in the time cube? We live in the time cube. 1,576? No, Kip. I just can't figure out why those cucumber plants are so blasted productive. I mean, I wanted a few of them for us, but I can't sell them fast enough. This is... Ridiculous? I was gonna say unbelievable. Even my poor little turtles can't eat any more cucumbers. I uh, can't say I blame them. A balanced diet is the cornerstone to their good health. I don't think cucumbers five times a day is balanced. Well, anytime any one of you would like to take over the creation of new and exciting meals. Can we get Cube Jesus emote? When would we use Cube Jesus emote? Because I guarantee after this, we're never going to see this show again. You're surely the one pony says ever seen Moral Oral. It's basically if the show Davy and Goliath was an, was an adult, but there was no Goliath the dog. Uh, I love Moral Oral. I love that show. Especially like that last season. Very good. Bills involving cucumbers. Everyone, please stop. It's my fault. Okay. What do you mean, sweetie? All of the cucumbers. It's all my fault. No, 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 no. Kip, Kip, this is all my idea, not yours. No, you don't understand. I, I used too much fertilizer on them. All box full. I wouldn't let Finn read the boy in old directions and now we're drowning in cucumbers and Kara's turtles will die and it's all my fault. He just not pick them. I'm so sorry, Dad. Kip, thank you for explaining what happened. I forgive you, son. I love you, Kip. No matter what. How's about we all pray together, huh? That will not solve your issue, sir. Our Father in Heaven. You okay, should pray Wait. for how to help the home of my sweet Our, uh, place. Oh, not tonight. <laughs> and as Galatians 6 2 instructs us, carry each other's burdens. 
And in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. We should totally do that. What? What Brother Ian said? Shh. Uh, better a small serving of vegetables with love than a fattened calf with hate? Shh. Huh? Proverbs 15, 17. When Ian read those directions from Galatians, he said, <laughs> are there more episodes? There probably are. I don't actually find this so that we interesting. we should bear each other's burdens, right? Uh, yes. And, Last oh, cucumber shit, seed. Better a small soup. Maps and Mimic says, Fun fact, if you use the whole thing of fertilizer on vegetable plants, you will absolutely just kill them. Source, childhood knees fuck up. You're gonna vegetables, right? Uh-huh. Thanks, Dr. Zeppelin. We can Zeppelin. help others oh, with all our cucumbers, don't you see? We Have I seen the Jehovah's Witness animation? Praying. Yes. And so, my brothers and sisters, I pray our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ keeps and protects you. Go and be the church in the world. You are dismissed in his love. Overthought says, wait, if there's a cube Jesus, then there has to be a cube Allah and therefore a cube Mecca. So do the cubes do a pilgrimage to a cube still? It's a hyper cube now. Look it up. Explain what you mean, Kip. I don't understand how our cube cumbers can help anyone. They can if we give them all away. But why are most or nearly all Christian kids children's TV shows always so terrible and horrible? Because... How do I put this? Creative and talented people can get better work. <laughs> that makes sense. Speak the truth 16, thanks for 17 months, says, cool, my anniversary, uh, a day after my 24th birthday. I think part of it has to do with the fact that, uh, by the way, happy birthday, belated. Like, there are good uh, animated religious things. Like, Prince of Egypt by Dreams Work is one of the best, like, depictions of a Christian, in this case more so Jewish, but it is, you know, part of the Christian canon um, stories ever with the Exodus, you know? But the thing is, that movie's main goal wasn't to proselytize to people, especially not children. It was just meant to depict a event in like mythology of the Abrahamic religions and it does a very good job telling that story. Stuff like this isn't just intending to tell a good story, it's a sermon. It's a way to preach to kids. So at the end of the day, the end goal is different. So you're gonna end up with a product that's much worse because the end goal of this product isn't to entertain or enlighten, it's to basically teach kids to believe in Jesus. Speak the truth. I just read that one. Jake. Thonis, thanks for four months. MH Dark Beast says, Hey Hannah, have you seen the horror that is the English dub of Pingu? It was dubbed from uh, Penguini in Korean to help teach kids English, but they screwed up. Here's some highlights. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's finish this and then we'll. Who see would what. want that? There's only like two months oh, left. Oh, yeah. Um. Uh... I got it! I got it! Got what? Right here, right here, 50 homeless. Hungry cube! And they need food! They need cucumbers! Can I help? You betcha, you, sis. More than you know. Again, a cucumber can make you feel like not hungry anymore or full, but you are not getting calories from it. If you ate nothing but cucumbers, you would die. Yay! In fairness, that's true of a lot of foods. You need an overall, you know, like, nutrient-balanced diet. But I'm saying you wouldn't even get enough ca- You wouldn't get calories from the cucumber. Pearson here with Foursquare News and Little Box Boyg. Inspired by his past assignment and the helpful tip from his best friend, Soyman? Little Kip Cubekin turned the problem of... Did I do this voice acting? <laughs> 
It's like one of the one voice acting things you know how to do. You talk like this, and then you, you, you don't say sermon, you say soymen. The past is soymen. <laughs> Jesus Christ, hire me for this shit. Who many cucumbers into an assembly line of Christian charity? Well, the Lord gets all the credit for this idea, Miss Pearson. As I always say, if you want- Who would have thought to give excess food to people with no food? Truly, we couldn't have done this without the light of the Lord. I wanna hear God talking to you, just- How does a town this small have 50 homeless people? They have a mandatory minimum homeless population to make them feel better about their position in life. Yours truly, the one pony, says, even though Passion of the Christ was just two hours of people beating the shit out of Jesus, but you gotta admit it's well filmed. Too bad Jim Caviezel is an insane MAGA conspiracy theorist. Dolores Passion is just all that, is just all that just beating the shit out of Jesus. Yeah. Uh, Passion of the Christ is a well-made movie, but, like, it's a fucked up movie. <laughs> I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a good overall encapsulation of what you should take from the story of Jesus if you're Christian. I think it's really bad at that. <laughs> Elmanado says her glasses have two lenses for her one eye. Yeah. Read the Bible out. It's for, she gets a, you know, a glass for each retina. It's based on retina. Wow. Uh, I'm not really sure how I helped. I just took really good notes on Brother Ian's sermon. I really gotta go to the bathroom. Finn made me head of logistics. I'm Kara, Kip's older sister. Church members are inside right now preparing cucumber dishes to war thanks to a bumper crop from local Ed Kubkin's garden. The boxes are then packed and loaded via an assembly line of specially trained, super rare, dimple-cheeked box turtles. All healthy and ready for adoption. The food is being sent to the Big Box City Homeless Shelter, where hungry cubes are looking forward to the banquet. Kip, this is simply an amazing story. What do you have to say for yourself? Awesome ideas can come from anywhere. If you're paying attention, then work really hard with your friends to make that idea happen for God's glory. And, and when you mess up, apologize, no matter what. Oh. And always follow, follow directions. directions. <laughs> Cinosaurus, thanks for 16 months, says, glad to be part of your community. Love you and love watching your streams, even if it's just insane shit like this. So thank you. Yeah, that was, eh. I found that to be mediocre. I need something real bad, I think. And I've been told this is real bad. So let's take a look. This is Rhapsody Street Kids Believe in Santa. This is a TV movie from 2002, which I have never seen. It is a Christmas film, but let's consider this Christmas in July. I deeply appreciate also the Comic Sans <laughs> titles. Very good. Dr. Gamble says, It was not following the directions that made it possible to feed the homeless. I'm so confused. Yeah, well, feeding the homeless was a solution to their cucumber problem. The cucumbers weren't a solution to their homeless problem because they don't give a fuck about the homeless. <laughs> this is from 2002. Pretty sure Toy Story 2 had already come out yet or was just about to come out. <laughs> The first tour, Toy Story had definitely come out by this point, and A Bug's Life. Toy Story 2 was 99, so yeah, Toy Story 2 would come out. So exciting. Sorry, I can turn the music down. It's very loud right now.
It was the week before Christmas that I'm talking. I spent the day shopping with my grandma walking. All through the crowded mall, the pumping deck, the halls, pine trees with lights and all that I'm just gawking. Cause all the toy stores are looking mighty packed. Electronic toys, video games, balls and bats. I saw a scooter with a motor that was flat. I hope the room in Santa's sleigh just for that. I've been told this time of year is forgiven. Give to please others, Santa, this is how I'm living. But if you kindly find the time, deliver gifts 7, 8, and 9 from my list. I'm not selfish, I'm just driven. I've been a good boy through the year, you better know it. Get ready, Santa Claus, to start decking the halls with gifts from my Christmas list. Though it's cold outside, it's warm in my soul. Gotta get it, get the gift, the beautiful Nicole. Dr. Gamble says, love that royalty-free Danny Elfman music intro to the rapping. <laughs> Hey, you, you, you assume it's royalty free. Maybe they paid Danny Elfman and he shit it, it in a binder and he handed it to them and then they put it to music. One, two, three, is all I see. One, two, three, and no more. Ray Delisle, who's, I don't even know who that is. <laughs> Mama, I miss you big. Mama, you gave me the spare cause of love. So I'll give this bear, cause of- New Blast family tradition, we watch this for Christmas? God, no. I'd rather watch the Star Wars holiday special. Love. Oh God, why are her eyes outside of the sockets? You guys remember Ripley's Believe It or Not? That guy that could like pop his eyeballs out like a full like inch? <laughs> Pose. <sighs> Nicole. Another day, another D at Rhapsody Street Elementary. I have to dress extra cute. Then mommy schedules me for my own hair lady. Smithy! Hey Nicole Duck! I mean dinosaur! <laughs> I was just giving it some extra fluff. I guess the pressure to buggy is just too much for me to resist. Whoa, the pressure's really getting to Smithy. Doug, Dot, come on. Ricky's gonna decorate the tree. Let's just see what Ricky Rhyme Master can- That's not the voice I thought was gonna come out of that character. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't I don't think the character design matches Doug, the voice. Come on. Ricky's gonna decorate the tree. What? See, I expected this to sound like a like a teenager. Not a five-year-old. <laughs> Let's just see what Ricky Ron Master. Let's just see what Ricky Ron Man freaking do. <laughs> hey, watch me help him. Heads up, Ricky. Uh, Gray Desley is Daphne from Scooby Doo in the new animated shows, and she was also Elizabeth Emily Elizabeth from Clifford the Big Red Dog. Okay, so she voice acted in this, presumably. Oh, look at all the ornaments! Hey, Ricky, hang ten. <laughs> go, Ricky, go! <laughs> I'm a decorating master. No one is faster. Don't you know I'm a Christmas tree blaster? Wow, Ricky, that's not bad for you. 
But don't get a swelled head. You're still not one of us, shrimp. Uh-oh. Whoa! <laughs> Dude, that was so cool. That's a tough break, Ricky. No, man, that's a lot of tough breaks. <laughs> All over the place. <laughs> Just one tinsel too many. Hey, Ricky, good job. Looks like you made a smash hit already. It's still a nice treat. Dr. Gimble says, Hannah, why did you put on a Let's Play of Alone in the Dark? Oh, wait, that's actual animation for the show? Oh, no. Oh, wait, where'd that go? That we were there. No matter what Todd says, he can't bother me. Not when I have friends like you. Thanks, Ricky. We need a kid band with you rapping a song about me. Smithy, the cool dude. Smithy's small and round. He's closest to the ground. He's nobody's fool. The coolest kid in school. <laughs> hey! What's that? It's for Nicole, the honey. I know she's into money. From me, she cannot hide, because I know she's good inside. Yeah, you're pretty cool, Ricky. Except for liking Nicole. Now that's gross. Class, sit down. You too, young Miss Nicole. Yeah, Nicole. Sit pretty. Not funny. Now sit down. Police. Yeah, Ricky. Don't you know how to sit? Or can you only fall down? That's cool. Spin round and round and find the ground. Ow. Hey, Ricky. Let me know any time you want to fall down again. I'll be glad to shove you in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get ready for recess. Good! I'm ready to skate bigger and faster than my mom can make the biggest sandwich in the world! Oh, recess? When we return, we will exchange gifts. Can't we please give out our presents now? Please? Pretty please? I said after recess because I need a recess. Oh. <laughs> I think that teacher's about to go postal. Uh, Purple Spyro fan, is that Jimmy Neutron VA Debbie Dairy Berry? I feel, are you are you making up the people's names now, Dairy Berry? Okay, let's go out and do some skating. You won't catch me hesitating. That will be enough, Ricky. Okay, okay. I'll save my wrapping for the presents. Make sure all of you are bundled up good. I don't think your parents would appreciate runny noses over vacation. Am I right, Smithy? Yes, Mrs. Parmington. Remember, come in promptly at the bell. Teacher, don't you worry. Be right back in a hurry. Ugh. I think I'll ask Santa for a vacation to a beautiful, quiet island. Bring on the cheer Time to share all the love and joy Now this was a TV movie, not a series. Have I seen this video yet? Probably not. Let me take a look. Oh, it's like a whole 23 minute thing. I'll have to Don't save change. it for another time, probably. I don't know if we have enough time to watch all these. Guar Stone Skin, thanks for 24 months. That's a second anniversary. And we're going to be in a D&D campaign together soon. So that's cool. I'm going to get you, Smithy. I'm going to take your sandwich. You won't get away from me. I'll get him for you, Todd. He's no match for me! Yeah, right, bully boy. No one can catch the Smith man. I'm gaining on you, Smithy! Got ya! I'm excited, too. I've never played in a campaign with Jake as a player. It's always either been he's the DM or I'm the DM. So I'm excited. Should be fun. Ah, Smithy! <laughs> Tug of war. <laughs> I'm betting on Smithy. Hey, Todd. I can feel a big tug. Get it? Big tug? 
Super fucked up. You can't run your face over ice <laughs> and be okay. Watch me, everyone. Watch what I can do. I'll watch you, Nicole. Not you. What am I gonna play? Uh, I think I'm doing a monk this time. I don't know what subclass, but I'm doing monk. And I didn't think it could get any colder out here. Come on, Lene. Let's pretend we're famous skaters. Had enough yet? Probably tiefling. Are you tired of tugging along? Don't let go, Tug! I'm almost there! You better give up if you know what's good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, this reeks. I want waves, not ice. Something stinks on ice. I want waves, not ice. Why was that a character in the early 2000s? Johnny Tsunami was also a thing. Why is this a character? I just want to surf, man, but I'm in a place with I snow. Oh, you'll be sorry. Nobody messes with my food and gets away with it. Oh, come on, Smithy. Didn't your mommy teach you to share? Mm, 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 mm. No! No! Ow! Get off me! Yes, you are back where you belong. I said get that was interesting. <laughs> what did you get from the grab bag, Nicole? Anything good? Oh, he <laughs> that is so cool. I wish I had one. Here. Cheap is not cool, Lene. Now my gift's the best. It came from the mall. I brought that for the grab bag, Nicole. It's a great reindeer. I picked her out myself. Ouch! Ow! Ow! Miss Parmington, get him away from me! Get him away! Stone Corbell says, Nicole's voice actor is Paige O'Hara, Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Lene is Jody Benson, Ariel from The Little Mermaid. The bully kid is Nancy Cartwright, whose voice is many characters. Was this like a money laundering scheme? How did the, like, what happened here? There's gotta be a story behind this that they got tons of, like, famous voice actors and actresses. A from B. That means he likes you. He just doesn't know he does. <laughs> yeah, 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 Mrs. Parmington. Class, I need your attention. And I need the calm fairy to dust this room. This is such a great time of year, Miss Parmington. How are you and our little angels doing? Our little angels are doing just fine. Thank you very much. Hello, sir. I hope you have a really, really happy holiday. Why, thank you, Lene. I just wanted to pop in and wish you all a Merry Christmas. And you, too, have a happy holiday, Ms. Parmington. You as well. I know that my family is just going to spoil me rotten to the core. Uh, I... Uh... As it's... They talk like Oblivion NPCs? Stone Corbell says Nancy Cartwright is big in Scientology, as is the movie's director-creator Colin Slater, so I'll let you draw your own conclusions. Ah... Lee Lovestub says, normally with all these things, they will get on the voice talent before the animation is done, and it's some of these things that is a drawback of the way animation is done in the U.S. It's been another one. Still, like, the script isn't good so far either. You'd think they would have noticed. Wonderful year in the Parmington household. Uh, yes, uh -huh. ma'am. Uh, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Principal dude. Principal dude. Okay, children, I wish you all a wonderful holiday. Now, please clean up your area before you leave. Remember, things in order teaches you good skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I guess those skills come later. Eh. Hey, Ricky! Where'd you get the ratty old bear? Does it walk you home from school? He 
He probably has music playing in his head the way he's rocking back and forth. Cool. Hey, dude, can I listen? Well, I, I was waiting for Nicole. Well, what do you want, Ricky? What could we possibly have to talk about? We can all discover something important about giving, just like Santa. Santa Claus? Duh! You know the very important man that won't visit you if you're not good? Does Santa shop at the mall? No! So that makes me perfect, since all of my presents come from the mall. You're perfectly weird, Nicole. I know that's mine. It better be good. Okay, you can't just show still images and expect it to look right. Especially in this animation style. It's so, like, obvious that's what you're doing. Two words, Hannah. Cobalt monk. That would be fun. But I want to do tiefling. Because tieflings are hot. This <laughs> is from the heart. Merry Christmas, Nicole. Have you lost your mind? Are you purposely trying to embarrass me? I can't even exchange this nasty old thing. You might be smart. This was made in the 80s for context. Don't play the audio, though. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was uh, the Weird Al music video from UHF the Beverly Hillbillies. Is it weird that I identified that immediately? <laughs> yeah, this is from UHF. Yeah, that looks about the same. With books, but you sure are stupid. I give you a real gift, and you don't get it. UHF was a parody. I'm a dumb bitch. <laughs> that makes so much more fucking sense. I recognized the thing, though. I didn't even know that that UHF song was parodying something. I thought that was just an original thing. Um, and before you say, but it was Weird Al. Weird Al does original songs, too. They're still, like, silly, but he's done songs that are not outright parodies or that are style parodies. So calm down. Dr. Gamble says, I've never thought you can top the Christmas tree as the worst Christmas special, but here we are. Hey, brat! Who do you think you are, treating people the way you do? It's really gross that Ricky likes you, but he's my friend, and you're not. Whatever. Oh, this is so great. I know you like this stuff, Nicole. Of course. It's sold in the malls, so I know they spent lots of money. Uh-huh. And we go to this really big store, mm -hmm. and it starts with a W. Whatever. Ricky, who gave you that candle? Oh, that is a really mean thing to say. Why? Do you see anything else? Oh. <laughs> the first music video played when MTV started in Europe. Gotcha. In the U.S., it was Video Killed the Radio Star. See, for the political kids nowadays. Dear Santa, please send me a video box and please send toys to all what's a video box all the kids in my class even nicole i gave her my special bear that mama gave me before the angels took her oh god you. you gave that <laughs> you gave that asshole the bear your mother gave you before she died that was probably not the best call friend Ricky Rogers. There. All done. Oh, my baby must be sending letters. I'll be back in a hurry, great grandma. Always in a hurry. The grandma's lines were so fucked, they just chopped them up and made her speak gibberish. That's amazing. That's so good. <laughs> 
to Santa Claus at the North Pole. Ricky, I don't know how to tell you this. That address was not properly formatted in any way. That's gonna get a return to sender and I didn't notice if it had a stamp. Hope you get lots of stuff. I know I will. What do you think Santa will bring you this year? <laughs> you still believe in Santa Claus? That's so last year. I suppose the Tooth Fairy still comes for your baby teeth. <laughs> Has my princess been a good girl today? Not only have I been good today, but I've been a good girl all year long. You know I'm the bestest kid in the world, Mommy. I know you are. And I'm the luckiest mom in the world. <laughs> kid in the world <laughs> look at me look and you'll see just how good i can be okay so i'm assuming that yeah they're telegraphing that her arc throughout this i'm assuming is going to be that she will learn to not be so conceited but this is so over the top that it's just making you think she's a literal psychopath or like a sociopath or something <laughs> like i don't I don't get a just being a kid vibes. I get narcissistic, malignant narcissist vibes. <laughs> Lily Love Stuff says, with letters to Santa, the post office used to take them to the North Pole, Alaska, even if they weren't formatted correctly or didn't have a stamp. But then a pedo got in and ruined it for everyone. Yikes. Stone Corbell says, what's that? Paige O'Hara is in the movie? Better have her sing an awful song. Cause on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Old Santa will see The best kid in the world Is me Don't you see Keep trying Look at me My room's spotless Everything in a row Look at me Brush my teeth twice Behind my ears are so clean on Christmas Eve, old Santa will see the best kid in the world is me. Don't you see? Look at me, straight A student, homework's always on time. Look at me. Tell me what else, what else you might believe. Hey, old Santa Claus, you know better, so you know I will try. I, th like, they're trying to, get, she's in the same spot. They're not even moving her around the room. She, they're just like, eh, 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 T-pose. To be like that kid. Uh who I said oh, oh, they moved her up and down! It was a jump! I could be. Cause on Christmas Eve, <laughs> Why did they make this a 3D animation? Until we'll see. still just in the same exact spot. They couldn't even move her to the other side of the room. Also, what the fuck? So it's all blue walls except for the accent wall, which has the ugliest wallpaper I think I've ever seen in my life. Hey, thanks, Santa Claus. You're the best guy, the best guy that I know. And thanks, Santa Claus, you made me feel like 
the best kid in the world. Dr. Gamble says, how dare you, Hannah? The choreography put in overtime for this one twirl. You thought she didn't believe in Santa Claus? It's the children's Christmas movie paradox where people don't believe in Santa Claus, but also Santa Claus is real, for the, so there's no reason not to believe in Santa Claus. <laughs> Just don't think about it. It's the, it's the Tim Allen, the Santa Claus problem. You can't think about it. Well, there must be a Santa Claus. Oh, Nicole seems sure that there isn't. I don't know. What am I gonna believe? Honey, is something bothering you? <sighs> no, nothing. When's Daddy coming home? Soon. <laughs> right after he picks up the Christmas tree. Why don't you play with your little sister until then? Well, I, I love Jenna, Mom, but I, I just want to wait for Daddy, okay? That's fine. Nana is on her way as well, so we can all decorate the tree as a family. Come on, it's Christmas. Cheer up! <laughs> Stone Corbell says, oh my god, at the beginning of this shot, the kid's model was floating off the ground and it shifted back into place. Hey, do you know how long it takes to render this? I don't have time for redos. This finished rendering two minutes before airtime. Hmm. I wonder what that letter is doing out there. There's... Even Nicole... Give her my special bear that mommy. Oh no, Ricky. What have I done? Isn't that what Santa does? It was from my heart. Oh. <laughs> See, before that, she doesn't get it. Oh, Christmas. Oh, how? When I feel so bad. Hey, Nicole, we're looking for Ricky's bear. I've got to find it. Oh, boy, here comes trouble. If I didn't see it, I wouldn't believe it. Let me guess. You were thrown out of the mall. So you're shopping at the dumpster. <laughs> Do they take credit cards? Yeah, the poor little princess is turned into- Is the voice actor who- Oh yeah, that's Nancy Cartwright, isn't it? Because I can hear the Ralph Wiggum. I can hear the, Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers. I can hear it. <laughs> A garbage man. Nicole, the ice queen. Hey, when you melt, your hair is going to be a mess. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Very funny. Don't just stand there. Help me find that bear. Yeah. Excuse Wait, how me. did the- did I miss something? How did the bear wind up in the trash accidentally? You should help us too. What is it about girls being so bossy anyway? Gee whiz. Come on guys, let's get out of here. Hey, have fun digging in the trash. Hope you find the garbage you're looking for. <laughs> Don't forget to take Why a bath before Christmas. Why did she throw it out Christmas. just like to be you like, fuck you? stink enough as it is. And now Smithy smells worse than before. She threw it out intentionally. Why? Just to be a bitch? Or yeah, smelly Smithy and princess of the trash, Nicole. Come on, let's get out of here before someone sees us with them. Or smells us with oh, them. Oh, because it didn't come to the mall. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are so lame. Never mind them. Ricky's mom gave him that bear. <laughs> they move like malfunctioning Disney animatronics. Honestly, I think they look like malfunctioning... What's the place called? 
They look like malfunctioning rainforest cafe animatronics. I think I'd give Disney more credit than this, even for malfunctioning animatronics. I can't let him give me something so special. I've got to find it for him. Cole, you killed the bear. Now he's gone to trash heaven and poor Ricky is gonna cry because of you. Oh, come on, Smithy, please. It's for Ricky. Help us find it. Where could it be? Wait! I've seen the cleaning man take trash down in the basement before. Maybe it's there. Gee, do I have to come up with all the answers or what? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Smithy! I love creeping out creepy girls. This is gross. Look, a spider! No! <laughs> oh, not funny, Smithy. This is classic! Twice in one shot! I can so blackmail you guys! You will be black and blue if anyone hears about this. Now keep looking! Junkyard. Sorry, oh, I no. keep getting so no. goddamn distracted. Chad, I just gotta be honest, I haven't had some of my meds in a few days, so my ADHD, along with other things, are so much worse than they normally are. Not that. Uh, do you want to find the bear or not? Okay, but I'm definitely going to throw this outfit away. Not to mention, have my nails done. Your nails? Gee, I will never understand girls. Being a boy is definitely better. It's not. I've done both. <laughs> yes! I saved you again, my friend! You just wait. Your time will come and I'll be right there to get you. Yeah, Smithy. All the sandwiches in the world won't make you skate faster next time. Cool. Stinky Smithy chasing a skating sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, the laugh animation. Look at that. Chasing a skating sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we all laugh, right? <laughs> The big bad bullies think they're smarter than me. We'll just see about that. <laughs> it's like someone told someone to draw a car from memory and they're like, I don't know. <laughs> what do cars look like again? I think I vaguely have it. That This is a vague car shape. We got it. We nailed it. <laughs> we can't let them see us or my plan won't work. This is so great. They're good at digging through trash. Maybe they'll find us some cool stuff. Yeah, they can find it, and we can take it. Maybe we can build a cool fort out of this junk. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to be quiet. Why? Well, who's gonna hear us? Not who. What? Which what? There are... <laughs> <laughs> you must smell like dog food! Hey, now what are you gonna do? The doggies are gonna get you! <laughs> oh, this couldn't be better if I planned it myself! Dude, look at the babies afraid of some little doggies. <laughs> what are we gonna do? I have a great idea. What? Have a picnic? Just watch how smart I am. <laughs> Get him away from me! No! I want my money! This is not cool, man. <laughs> How are we 
getting over that. Oh, that's easy. Just climb into that tree and jump over. Hm. You do not need to climb the tree to climb. The, the wall is not that high. Just if you're going to climb already, just climb the fence. There's a thing over there. There's like a, I can't tell what it is, an old fax machine or air conditioner by the trash. Just take that and then you could like step on it and get over the wall. It's not that high. The dog still look as realistic as the dog from Toy Story. That dog from Toy Story is unfortunate. A lot of Toy Story still holds up. That dog is not one of the things that does. <laughs> uh, the human faces are also awful. What? A lady does not climb trees. She does if she doesn't want to be late. Besides, now is not the time to be a girl. <laughs> Finally made it. Wow. What are you doing here? And what happened? Never mind. Here. I'm so sorry. Nicole, this was a gift for you. But doesn't it mean a lot to you? Yes. And so does... Friendship. You could be friends and not give her the thing she has demonstrated she is not responsible enough to take care of. That is the last thing your dead mother gave you. You might want it. This is my very favorite time of the year. I can remember you, Robert, as a little boy. Oh, you had such a hard time falling asleep on Christmas Eve. <laughs> I remember one early morning, my sister, brother, and I were running down the stairs, so excited, only to find nothing under the tree. We thought that Santa had completely forgotten about us. Well, I ran to the front window to see if Santa was flying by. The dad is Mark Hamill. Of course he is. Oh shit, I jumped back. Now we have to watch the whole thing again. <laughs> Hold up. There we go. Decided, only to find nothing under the tree. We thought that Santa had completely forgotten about us. Well, I ran to the front window to see if Santa was flying by. And to my surprise, there, right on our porch, sat brand new bicycles. I want a pony for Christmas. Santa can just put it in the backyard and tie it to the apple tree, okay? Um. Excessive Observer, thanks for 26 months. Hi, sweetheart. I understand you can use a little extra Christmas cheer. Santa's on his way. You don't believe me? Come and take a look. That's Mark Hamill? I've never heard Mark Hamill give less of a shit about a performance. Because <laughs> Mark Hamill's normally really, really good. Like he's, he's Ozai from Last Airbender. No, he's the other dad. Okay, I was gonna say, because this is dog shit. Do you see him? Do you see Santa? <sighs> I do, Daddy. There he is. He's there because I believe in him. <laughs> they even did the ding! This project had to exist solely for tax write-off purposes, right? It's got to be something like that. Something weird's going on. Right, Daddy? Exactly. It's what's in your heart that matters most.
Do you hear that, Daddy? I sure do, sweetheart. Lily Love Stuff says, isn't Santa Claus running against Sarah Palin? I love you. Is this an Alaska governor joke I don't get? I don't know who's Daddy, running. Is Sarah Palin it? still the governor? I don't even know what Sarah Palin does anymore. <laughs> Help me understand. Daddy, are you sure that he's a special man? And there will always be a Santa if I believe in Santa. Daddy, tell me you believe in Santa too. <laughs> and if we all believed in Santa, there will always be a Santa. Santa alive inside of me and you. Because we all believe in Santa, there will always be a Santa. Santa alive inside of me and you. Oh, a guy that looks and is named Santa is running against Sarah Palin. That's funny. I don't know about the Senate race. Apparently not. Um, Stone Corpel says, what's that? Another famous singing voice actress in our movie? Better ever sing an awful song, too. Well, there's an interesting special election happening in Alaska that you're watching yeah. this weekend as well. What can you tell us about it? Why is it so unique? Well, it's being done all by mail for the first time in Alaska's history. And it's also the state's first open primary, meaning voters rank their favorite candidates from either party, and then the top four will go on to the general election in November. Now, four dozen candidates are vying to replace Congressman Don Young, who died in March after serving 49 years in Congress. And there are a few notable names here, including former vice presidential nominee and Alaska governor, Sayla Palin. Also, a man named Santa Claus, currently a city councilor in the town of North Pole, Alaska. He changed his name legally years ago. Kristen and Peter? Would be interesting to see what his campaign team looks Is he an asshole? Or is he actually nice? Because <laughs> I find it less cute that his name is Santa Claus if he's an asshole. Good night, Daddy. I love you. He's nice, good. It's Christmas! Oh, honey, by the time I got out of the mall, the cleaners had already closed. So I bought you a new suit. No surprises there. That's how I get most of my suits. <laughs> okay, so that's Mark Hamill, and that's still pretty bad. <laughs> Joker, why? <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Nicole! Let's open your presents, precious. Oh, our princess has my good looks and your spending habits. Oh, dear. A present from Grandma came last week in the mail. I may have put it at the back of the tree. Oh, cool! Grandma always sends me the best stuff. <laughs> Nothing's too good for my princess. And I've got the credit card bills to prove it. We get it. We get it. She likes to spend. This is what That's like the fifth <laughs> It's like the fifth joke he's made about how his daughter spends money. She's your daughter. Stop giving her money. <laughs> Ricky asked Santa for. Put a big smile on pumpkin. It's Christmas. And you know what that means. Even more presents than on every other day. Mommy, Daddy, may I go visit a friend? <laughs> of course, Princess. Have a good time. It's All right. a wonderful Christmas. Guess we're just gonna let our <laughs> child daughter go out on Christmas on her own. We're not gonna open the rest of the gifts or do any family Christmas things. Also, he showed up to Christmas morning in a three-piece suit. I just wanna, my Christmas mornings, we were all in pajamas. I, no one had the time. No one had the time to get on a three-piece suit. I feel like we were underdressed now. I got the most beautiful wife and daughter. And, of course, they have the most handsome husband and father. I am the perfect little girl. 
It's just so off-putting how all the motion works. <laughs> oh no! Cause she's just like, it's like when in a video game, when the walk cycle doesn't like sync up quite right with like how fast the character actually traverses. Like in Elder Scrolls Oblivion, especially if you have like a really high athletics stat, it just looks like you're doing this and sliding everywhere. It's so weird. <laughs> like her legs are moving like an action figure too. Like there's no actual rotation or motion in her hips. It's all just the legs as if they're on, <laughs> as if they're on hinges. Nicole? Santa made a terrible mistake. He sent this present to the wrong house. So I ran over here as fast as I could. Are you sure, Nicole? Look, it has your name on it. Well, don't just stand there. Open it. He got his present he I thought wanted. You didn't believe yeah, we'll do Bible Man after this. Of course I do. How else could your present get to my house? Could Santa make a mistake? Well, you know he has a lot on his mind Christmas Eve. Come over later and we'll go to Lene's house. Merry Christmas! Jenna, I think I see something in the backyard. Oh my god, it's a fucking pony! <laughs> oh, I think they got one of the clearance wholesale ponies that maybe had a manufacturing defect. <laughs> a little cheaper, but, you know, pony's a pony, I guess. And what I said about Santa, well, I, it's okay, Nicole, I understand. Me too. We can always work things through. My friends, believe me when I say it's true. Belief and Santa is where we start, but what matters is what's in our heart. What did we learn here? Stone Core Bell says the problem is the animation is so bad it could be a living pony or it could be some kind of wooden plastic thing you genuinely can't tell. Yeah. So the rich girl learned to not be selfish and spoiled. I guess that's good. If and you to want share. To know what you can trust is that Santa believes in us. <laughs> Wait, did we learn to believe in Santa? Is that what this was about? No, what, Nicole? I never stopped believing in Santa. And you don't have to stop either. I won't. <laughs> that makes two of us. Great Grandma, you always know just what to say. <laughs> Christmas! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! What's that? It's Shadow Santa. It's Shadow emerging from the what? dark realm. Why is he like this? Wow. <laughs> it's like they got a PNG of Santa and then just made it fucking Shadow. Why? <laughs> I 
guarantee there are pre-made Santa sleigh assets they could have bought and plugged into whatever animation program they're using. This is just fucking lazy. <laughs> the lead is Santa. Yeah! That's right, that's... Yeah, it's supposed to be a shadow as he flies in the air. I. It's not better. That's not better. <laughs> right. I believe in Santa. I am so proud of you, princess. And a Merry Christmas to all. Shut that door. What did we learn here today? Minty Treasure says supposedly the director did no direction and the animation made a snowman wink when his name comes up in the credits. Lovely. What in the assholes? Like, even if the animation was fine, it still would be shitty. It would still be shitty. <laughs> All right, let's watch Bible Man. The Infineon Raceway. Okay, so either Bible Man Power Source, which has the younger Bible Man, or we can do the Bible Man 20th anniversary episode. They're about the same length. The 20th the twentieth anniversary is a little bit longer. Which would you guys prefer? The newer Bible Man or Okay, we're going with 20th anniversary. Let's do it. I'm glad things went well at Cypher's concert. But I hope this won't be the end of all of our adventures, Bible Man. <laughs> no, don't worry, Eunice. We're still going to do our jobs. As long as Jesus Christ is in control, we'll always be there to help. It's hard to believe. People can forget about Jesus. Well, sometimes you just have to help people understand what they truly want. So I won't have to initialize Omega Code Alpha? <laughs> That's right, Eunice. We're going to continue doing everything we can to help. Coats, you're back. Coats, what's wrong? Coats! No. Does Bible Man ever talk about the gays? He does not, unfortunately, though it would probably be pretty funny. No! No, Coats! Is this the episode where we find out why Coates is no longer part of the team later? This Co like clearly this is not the actor for Coates because he wouldn't come back. That's the real life reason is they couldn't get him to come back for more Bible Man. But now they have to write him off the show. So are they just gonna have him try and murder Bible Man? <laughs> like why? Coates hurt. There's something wrong with you. System set for stuff. Minimal intensity. Okay, cool, cool, cool. He's probably mind control. 
That's a common trope in everything, you know? But... Oh, it was a Coats robot! Was Coats a robot the whole time?! This is horrible. <laughs> it's fucking Bible Man! What do you mean this is horror? Bible Man, it isn't what you thought. Sensors indicate a droid consisting of 98% alum composite and 2% elastic reality. A coat spot. Exactly. He was a robot. Of course. It was the eyes. What? Uh... Why didn't I notice the eyes? Coats didn't have two blue eyes. He had one green eye and one blue eye. An unfortunate result of his ancestral lineage. <laughs> what? Why is he making, like, heterochromia sound like some fucking disease? Like, it's just a thing that happens. But why? Why would someone dig deep into my past to bring out the darkness and despair that continues to haunt me? May I suggest your most recent villainous adversary, Wacky Protester? He alone would use so insidious a guise. I would agree. You would agree? It, it, it's a figure of speech. It, it means I agree. Except for it's, what? Never mind. Oh, I don't understand. This is the story of Miles Peterson, who had everything, money, power, and fame, until he lost it. Time for the fucking Bible Man theme song. And just when he had nothing to live for, he found the power of God. Produced and directed by Willie Ames? Willie Ames directed this masterpiece. Thank you, Charles in Charge. He wasn't Charles in Charge. He was on Charles in Charge. He wasn't Charles, nor was he in charge, but neither was Charles. So. Face is aligned, and her matrix has been lateralized to accommodate the new system extensions. Good job, Cypher. Bible Girl, how's the digital convection vortex coming? The digital convection vortex is complete. The new Unis is complete. All right. The new Unis is about as ready as she's ever going to be. So? Let's initialize. Cypher? Ready. Initializing systems. Is this episode going to explain where where he goes? Wait, no, he's Cypher. Where was Coates? Where did Coates go? I'm still not clear on what happened to Coates. That's, that's being held on to. Systems coming online. I am the Universal Networking Computing Entity, or UNIS for short. My new system seems to be functioning well. Thank you all. Welcome, UNIS. Congratulations. I'm glad to see you, UNIS. Oh, you like me. You really like me. <laughs> yes, we do. Good job, sir. Thanks. Wow, uh, yes. Do you mechanical windbag you? But soon nobody will love anybody. Oh, well, except for you three. Let's see, Mike, Tim, 
and Marsha are the oh, nice to see Hex you. and Ring music. Thank you for two months. No silly stooges. This are is going amazing. This world cloaked in darkness. No little light shall shine through the night that I shall bring. I mean, it's going to be dark. Now enough of this bomb toolery. That's Tom Foolery, boss. I'm not entirely clear on what his motive. Like he's a demon or something. Usually the villains on Bible Man are demons. That's fine. Works for Buffy. It can work here. But like. <laughs> His goal is just general darkness? Just darkness. Like, literal darkness? Or does he only mean, like, spiritual darkness? Like, he's gonna make people non-Christian. And I hate to interrupt, but- Oh, thank God. The Bible Man wiki will clear up the coat situation. <sighs> oh, that's the, old, that's the whole page! It doesn't even tell you anything! Coats was Bible Man's first sidekick. And had quarrels with Eunice very often, but kept a good relationship. Coates left because of being a basketball coach, and the job was filled with Cypher and Bible Girl. That's lame. I need more than that, Bible Man. Give me a tragic backstory. Then don't! Because I'm divulging my dark plan to destroy the happiness of everybody in this whole wide world. Oh, yeah, right. Here we go again. Why do I see this not ending the way you planned? Lucy, I... Your brilliance puts me to shame. Lucy, when I'm done, there'll be no glimmer of happiness, shiny light. I hate Everyone will forget but... their so-called God and be at my mercy. All the anguish, all the pain. I hate to interrupt, but... Lucy, what is that blasted alarm for? I tried to tell you before you went on your little monologistic rampage. A little big guy is on his oh, way. Dr. Pamplin? You mean Dr. Pamplin is here to say No, that? your wrongfulness. He works with the God guys. Mr. Capone, you know, Johnny Capone. Your boss! Capone is the name. Okay, Meepo. Neil, smack the ring. Oh, yes, your worship. Let me just get that right there. Oh, oh, that boy. Stop kissing up. Lucy. Oh, oh my. That was my old flame. <laughs> you remembered. <laughs> Sizzling your tightness. Um. Excuse me, Johnny Capone, but... I told you, quit kissing up. I'm here to examine your plan. The big guy, his supreme evilness, wants me to make sure that you don't fail again. So, hit me to your groove. Oh, well, it's it's fabulous because, um, you see, I, the lucky protester, Intergalactic Desperado and Despot of Evil, I'm going to cloak this town in darkness and despair. Okay, so literal darkness as well. Because you know that okay. people Clearer. are afraid to be in the dark, but soon they will experience such spiritual darkness that not even the Bible trio can save them. Is, is that a good plan? Okay, go with it. But... I'll be back. Chill, baby. Oh, yay! Hey, okay, hey, okay. I love it. hey! Cut the phony laughs. It's overused. Oh, sorry, mister. I'm sorry, Mr. Johnny Capone. Uh, I'll watch that. Well, now it's time for some fun. Yes, for some fun. Uh, oh, hello, Debbie and Debbie. I will, of course, start with the most innocent. Lucy, show me my most likely victim. Yes, your wackiness. Item, one Corey Scampridge. Oh, interesting. The kid is 12 and just a bit skeptical of the world. He lives with his parents. He attends Williams Junior High. He's been feeling a little lost, you know, 
alone. I feel like the Bible Man villain plot, which is usually do plan on single, like, individual child before doing it to everyone, is not working out because it gives Bible Man time to go and find that kid and solve the problem. No shade. The problem here being that a kid is <laughs> maybe not going to be Christian. Uh, what about... Which is a disaster, apparently. <sighs> The kid goes on and off. Hmm, perfect. It's now time for attack. It's also time to introduce my spasmodic, wacky asonic, meteoronic cloud of darkness and despair. If only I could bite it in this pigsty, where did I put that? So important. Oh, here it is. It will enhance his feelings of dark isolation. And it will prevent him from ever attending church again. Oh no, the horror. It's grand. Yes. Yes, it is. It's its purpose. Yes. Yes, you are. It's so complete. Yes. Yes, it is. It's unblemished. Yes. Lately. Are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just haven't had much time lately. No pressure. Just remember, we'd love to see you anytime you feel like it. All right, thanks. Really nice of you. Lucy! Oh, why you scare me? Like oh, Lucy has a little drone to too. Track your laser that makes on sense. That young man. Targeting the crack. Oh, close to one. I want him to feel the full effects. Of my cocktail. We go. <laughs> Look, you don't have to lie to me. I know what I'm not wanted. What? What did I say? Boy, that's not true. That's some intense middle school relationship drama that's very important. Boy, that's I'm glad they focused on it. Boss? You know something? I am the darkness that covers this town. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my hip. Alert. Incoming teletransmission. Alert. Incoming teletransmission. Alert. Incoming teletransmission. Transmission locked. Sensors normal and transmission is locked. Good job, team. Eunice, transmission on screen. Initializing teletransmission. On screen. Bible Man, it's Principal Steve. I need your help. Freaking Out says, so when is Bible Man Beyond going to come out when an old and decrepit Willie Ames recruits a teen to be Bible Man to the cyberpunk future? Man. I'd watch that. Corey Standridge. Standridge? I've noticed a very drastic change in him. He's normally a quiet kid, but lately, I don't know, something's gone wrong. He's begun to isolate himself. It's as if his perspective has been clouded. Clouded. Please help. End teletransmission. Poor guy. Even I know what it's like to feel alone in the middle of a crowd. You think we can help him? Well, we're sure gonna try. And even if we can't, we can point him to the one person who can. Jesus Christ. That's right. No <laughs> we might not be able to help him. We'll, we'll find someone person. who can. Very super. To the Bible chamber? Much hero. Eunice, initialize full armor sequence. Initializing full armor sequence. Waste belt of truth. Breastplate of righteousness. Shoes 
salvation. And the sword of the spirit. I'll take the tunnel by. This is the worst version, I think, of the Bible Man armor. It follows that, like, weird design trend that, like, just take a thing and make it chrome. Like, I don't know why this was, like, a thing for a while, but you can find a lot of, like, superheroes with, like, chrome outfits. Superman's probably a bad example. Chrome versions of superheroes. Well, Surfer, Silver Surfer doesn't count. Shit, I know that there's specific examples of this in like, especially the like 90s where they did like metallic super versions of specific like things. It happens in action figures a lot. Uh, Daddy Sume with 25 months says, sup size queens. Chrome is the future. I learned that from SpongeBob. Steven Hillenburg taught me. All right, everyone. There's no need to stare. Spider-Man had chrome on. armor. Thank you. That's probably what Don't I'm thinking of. About your business. Hey. The man said, "Go about your business." Thank you, Cipher. Now, I'm not sure if Corey will be receptive, but we have to at least talk to him and try and find out what's bothering him. Yeah, I think you're right. You ready? Like hear the plastic clicking as they walk. <laughs> hey, Corey. What are you guys doing here? We uh heard you could use a few friends. I'm, I'm fine. Really, I, I gotta go to my locker. Corey, wait. Maybe if you talked with someone, it would help. We're just here to help. There's nothing you guys can do. I mean, I. I guess there's nothing really wrong. I think this kid has a depression and needs medication, Bible man. Well, if there's nothing really wrong, then there's no harm in talking about it, is there? Corey, you know, someone once said that if you share your problems with a friend, you cut them in half. And if you share your joy, you double it. Why don't you give it a shot? You guys just don't give up, do you? I can't stop feeling that everything in the world's wrong. I, I mean, I just can't figure it out. It's like everyone, everyone else is just doing fine except for me. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty close to my parents and everything, but I'm just not happy. It's like there's always a cloud there waiting for me. Corey, we all feel lonely sometimes. But I've learned that we can't always trust our feelings. You know, Corey, you have a lot of people who care about you. Thanks. Anyways, I gotta go. Corey, we may not have the answers you're looking for, but don't forget that God does. And we'll be there too. God didn't tell you that fashion choice was a bad call, so I don't know if I want him in charge of my life. When you're ready. What do you make of that? I don't know. But I think we should go back to Eagle Gate and analyze it there. We can do a lot better job. Bible trio. Waste your precious time on playing your silly game, pin the problem on the donkey. No one's going to be able to stop my plan of making this world a dark and desolate wasteland. But how am I going to do it? Protester, what if we were to send that cloud of yours into that do-good and brain of 
Bible Girls. What if I were to shed my cloud into Bible Girls' brain? I just said that. Anyway, with Bible Girl under your cloud, she would lose all of her strength and show the city that not even her faith has all the answers. Then, when my cloud goes into Bible Girl's brain, she will lose all of her strength and show the city that not even her faith has all the answers. What, is there an echo in here? Anadon Era Heart, thanks for 18 months, says, Baby 2 Electric Boogaloo, I want an abortion now, please. You know what? This is the first uh, sub-baby abortion. This this sub-baby has been aborted. It's gone now. You're welcome. <sighs> if you still want a name, you can call it uh, Abortion. That's the name of this baby. If you would like to name whatever's left. I'm gonna do it. I know. I'll use Lucia's face. What? Whoa, wait, wait a second there. I didn't say that. Yes, but I did. Where's your baby? Are you at another milestone for one? Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna lure that truthful trio into battle. We're gonna force them into action. While you isolate my window in my fog of darkness, while I rain on her parade. Oh, I'm telling you, this plan is... We lift Corey up to you, Father, and we ask that you would meet his needs. Lord, in Matthew 5, 16, you tell us to let our light shine so that you may be praised. We ask that you would help us to be that light. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I hope we can help Corey soon. It's been days, and Principal Steve says things are getting worse. I'm worried about him, too. Sometimes waiting is all we can do. Sounds like we've got work to do. Let's go. Transmission locked. Systems operative and manual. Bible man. My sensors show destructive activity, 34 degrees, 16 minutes south, sector 12. Disturbance on screen, Eunice. Initializing. The wacky protester. But I the thought... wacky protester. That's the worst <laughs> villain name. I took care of him when he was primordious. It's a common mistake to think that evil can be defeated permanently. Cypher's right. And until Jesus returns, it'll always be there waiting for best thing we can do is stay strong and show others how they can fight back. Eunice, maintain contact and track us. Maintaining contact, Sector 12. Let's go, team. Eunice, initialize full armor sequence. Initializing full armor sequence. Everyone to the chamber. Okay, now remember, the plasma that Protester uses is extremely dangerous. We're far better off engaging him as a team. Roger that. I would prefer it if we didn't experience any again. Well, oh, I can't wait. Eunice. Give us a situation update. <laughs> Does Bible Girl have a gun? It looks like it. The lightsaber effects have come come a long way since the first one. I'll give them that. Data shows protesters still operating in Sector 12. Approach with extreme caution. All right. Is everyone set? Set. Ready. Wait! <laughs> We meet again, Bible Lumps. Yes, we meet again, Protester. And as usual, we come in the name of the Lord our God. Psalm 92.9 says a lot about people like you. Look it up. 92.9. I love that radio station. But seriously, never. 
Never again are you going to interfere with my plans, Bible man. Psalms 112.10 says even more about people like you. Look that one up also. And also, I'm very impressed that you brought your little Bible clones with you. Guess what? It's not going to do you any good. We are Proverbs 21 9 says, It is better to live on the corner of a roof than share a house with a nagging wife. What? What? That's all I can think of. <laughs> the gimmick of Bible girls saying random Bible quotes that have nothing to do with the situation is actually pretty funny. I'm on Lucy. Ambush! Bible Girl's broken away. We have to regroup. Eunice, walk on to Bible Girl's transponder and locate. Bible Girl is not far. Move 12 degrees west. All right, on my signal, we'll head west. Oh, looks like I got you caught in a little crossfire. Do I think Zack Snyder can make an interesting Bible Man reboot? Probably. It wouldn't be good. I've seen Zack Snyder's movies. I've not seen a single one that I liked. Um, <laughs> but it'd be interesting. Well, your technology's gonna do you absolutely no good. Bye-bye. Gone. What's happening? He got what he wanted. He split us apart. Bible girl's in grave danger. Let's go. I think she'll talk about <laughs> the one with her lovers and donkeys. Probably not. I think verses about come might be a little above the age range for Bible man. Proverbs 35 says, the Lord is a shield for those who trust in him. Yeah, yeah, so girlfriend. Taste this. Welcome to the party, Bible girl. Ecclesiastes 7.26 says, A woman who hunts down a man is more painful than death. Oh yes, but in gymnastics class, they say don't slide down the rope or you're going to burn your hands. But wait a minute, actually, in Ecclesiastes 7, dot, dot, 3, it says that sadness is good for the heart. Night, night, Bible girl. I'll see you on the dark side. <sighs> Lucy! We better scram, boss. My senses indicate those other two goons are on the way. Bible girl, are you okay? I don't know. I was fighting Lucy and I don't know what happened. Let's get her back to the cave. Come on. Hydrate. Eunice, continue to scan and cross-reference biologic impulses. Uh, Chromatic Cuttlefish, I keep expecting Wacky Protester to be a new Wacky Races vehicle like the Army Surplus Special. Cross-referencing biologic impulses. Like biologic good. impulses. I don't see the point in all of this. It's useless. Isn't that just a little negative? I mean, we've just begun the analysis process. We will find out what's wrong with you. But what's the point? You said yourself that evil is always with us. Why try? Because I'm worried about you. This isn't like you. Sure you're worried. Hats off. Excuse uh, no. And also, I'm not doing hats off today just because my hair looks like shit. <laughs> and I want to keep this hat on. So save the points. I have to go sort my 
This is Bible Man, yes. Well, won't you look at that? Because I'm worried about you. This isn't like you. Well, now we have two, two, two disparate dopes in one. Oh, I just love it when the plans all go accordingly. Uh, Ooh. boss, it's Mr. Capone. He wants some updates. Oh, my. Oh, well, um, well, put him on the screen. I can't wait to tell him about all this news. It's news. Mr. Capone on screen, boss. Hey! Um, hello, Mr. Johnny Capone. Um, I just wanted to let you know that everything is going according to my plan. The little brat is responding to my cloud of despair. The Bible dope, they don't even know what's going on. And that whining Bible girl is under my spell as well. Oh, that's swell. Hey, tell you what, since you're doing such a bang up job, why don't you see me a little bitty. You know, something catchy. I'm feeling all flutter inside. Do you, you want me to sing you a song? Well, I, 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 I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm, I'm in Hurry it up I, the I'm, uh, um, hit it, Ringo! It's time for the obligatory villain musical number that isn't as good since they got a different guy to play the villain. See, the old guy that played the villain on Bible Man was I've great. I've been doing some experiments this guy in sucks. my lab. Mixing several compound elements that I have. And my conclusion is unanimous, true, and sound. I've created a cloud of darkness that covers this town. But there's a pest I need to eliminate right at hand. He's a silver chrome composite named Bible Man. Just when I think I finished my glorious, stupendous crown, Bible Man tries to light the darkness that covers this town. I'm not talking about a cloud that's fluffy and white and looks like a bunny. I'm referring to a cloud of despair, and I think that's quite funny. <laughs> because when I substitute He's just talking? He's not even singing. Cloud, how fucking lazy. I love that cloud of darkness that covers- Let me show you a good Bible Man song. Now this is a good Bible Man song, okay? I'm gonna find it, goddammit. This one's pretty good. It's Jacob time! The name is Dallas. He knew what he was Dallas. in, right? Dallas. He knows to be campy. The other Who's guy doesn't. Who's the new evil in your town? Shadow of Dallas. Who's the baddest bad guy all around? Shadow of Dallas. Like he knows what the fuck is he knows the tone. I love this man. Because he used to play every villain and then they think I don't know, something happened and he stopped showing up.
one dose of my gout toxins and you'll be be begging for mercy, mercy, mercy. This one's also pretty good. I'm not gonna play the whole thing. Same guy did this one. Just different makeup. I look at it as just the beginning of night. I tell you, it's so overrated. Some people find lots of joy when they see a puppy rolling in the grass I look at it as a dog who makes a mess honestly I could really care less what good is it I ask you please is everyone losing their mind how can anyone wake up so happy well I just waste my time Just putting a smile on your face The whole world would see That everything's gonna be just fine Well I disagree Mr. Happy-go-lucky I am not Don't even try and make me laugh My funny bone broke a long time ago Nothing makes me happy. Nothing makes me happy. Nothing makes me shine. Nothing makes me see the light. Keep my troubles behind. Some look at joy and say, oh, what a lovely sight. Well, I lose my appetite. Old. My world was full of lies. I got tired one day of saying ha 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 and began this lonely fight. I saw the other kids playing in the yard, jumping high and singing songs. That's when I sat kicking at the dirt, saying, Brother, there's something wrong. Boo hoo to you and the rest of the world. Well, I throw my rattle down. I said I wasn't going to play the whole thing, but I basically have already. Crash. The show's not really positive on Keith's with depression, huh? Oh no, it's terrible. one that I was trying to get away from. <laughs> this town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So while I multiply and divide this simple math, this is some dirty work and I don't feel like taking a bath. I see the molecules and proteins explode on my brow. For I have created a- Holy fuck, he has no charisma. Okay, I'm skipping the song, it's terrible. Well, that's actually, I think that's the nicest shot I've ever seen in a Bible, man, anything. Look at that. That had to be like a second unit, because look at that, everything's in like smoke and shit. I don't think Willie Ames directed this shot specifically, because I don't hate this shot. It's not great, it's not good, but it's fine. Like, this is a passable shot. Like, there was thought put into it. <laughs> Willie Ames did not direct this. Miles, did you notice the similarity between Bible Girls and Corey's reaction? Yeah, I did, and that's what's got me so concerned. Eunice, 
Do you have the composite readout of Bible Girl's analysis? Yes, I do, Bible Man. The elements show trace amounts of a powerful extract known to cause an increased anxiety and depression. So it's just as we thought. She's under some sort of outside influence. But the question is, how do we break through that and help Bible Girl back to her old self? That's always the question. No doubt the wacky protester has something to do with it. But what? Still terrible name. Wacky Let's protester. Let's think through this. What could the wacky protester gain by a disillusioned Christian? I don't know what he would gain. But it sure wouldn't say much for our faith if every Christian you see is living a life that's happy and fearful or... Living, living a life, life of darkness? darkness? That's it. This isn't about Bible Girl or Corey. It's about deceiving everyone into believing that Jesus can't truly be the light of the world. Trace elements that Eunice found are the key. You know, if Corey and Bible Girl can't shake the feeling of despair, then they can't become lights for anyone else. Everyone they meet will believe the wacky protesters' lies and walk away from fellowship. And without fellowship, it's only a matter of time before they isolate themselves and walk away from God. Bible man, then that may be the key to encourage a renewed fellowship to help overcome the effects of the enemy perhaps you should encourage bible girl and corey to renew their fellowships now well, that may be difficult but it's worth a try cypher you contact corey i'll speak with bible girl set up a rendezvous for tonight at the pizza parlor round eight that's funny i I was thinking the exact same thing. Around eight? Will eight be enough? Don't get cheeky. So our feelings of darkness and despair aren't real? Oh no, they're real. But that's what makes them so dangerous. The trick is to not give in to them, and then try to remember who truly loves us. But how do you know who loves you? Always have to remember my experience. Let me guess, it's always Jesus. That's why God gave us Very name. original. You know, anytime I get down, I just remember the times that my friends were there for me. Yeah, but what if you can't remember? A prayer journal. That's why it's important to keep track of all the answered prayers and blessings that Jesus gives us. So when the dark times come, we can remember who is the light. And we can remember who Jesus is. You know, Jesus said in John 3.17 that he didn't come here to judge the world, but to save man and to give us all hope. You're right. I never thought of it that way. That's why they call me Bible Man. You know, I don't think any of us will look at fellowship the same again. It's not only important, it's vital. I agree with Cypher. It's not only vital to have a light in the darkness, but to be a light for others, too, so that we can lead them to Christ. That makes me think of the simple little songs. They're very powerful. I think any time we hear God's word, it's going to be powerful, no matter how it's presented. Thanks, guys. I think I'm feeling a lot better. Me, too. That's what fellowship is for. You know, why don't we show a little fellowship to another certain fellow who could use a lesson. That didn't look as cool as he probably thought it did. Okay, 
No doubt Protester knows we're here. So stay together. Eunice, can you pinpoint the Protester's location via satellite surveillance? Are they about to murk a guy? Yeah, they, the demons die usually, but it's implied that they don't actually die. They just go to hell or something and then they can come back. Wait, something is headed your way at a high velocity. Take cover! Eunice, pinpoint source of attack! Final girl was overcome last time because she got separated. Stay together! Never mind, we've located the source. We gotta get out of here. He's already attacked once. He's bound to attack again. Yeah. Stay alert. He's here somewhere. Will not the day of the Lord be in darkness instead of light? Even glow will have no brightness in it. And I know for certain that that is Amos 5.18. <laughs> past we were full of darkness but now we are full of the light of jesus christ so live like children who belong in the light ephesians 5 8 oh but the sons of the empire were cast out into the outer darkness and in that place there was nothing but weeping and Gnashing of teeth. And that for certain is Matthew 8, double that 12. Oh, wouldn't that be smell? Do -do -do. Darkness is passing away, and the true light is already shining. First John 2 8. Wow. And then Jesus said, I have come into this world as light. So that those who believe in me will not live in darkness. John 1246. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overpowered the light. John 1 5. Now hold on, wait a second here. I don't understand how this is. God set us free from the power of darkness, and he brought us into the kingdom of his dear son. Colossians. One again. These guys never learn, do they? Let's go. That's it, apparently. That's anticlimactic. This is like the this is the 20th anniversary of Bible Man episode and this is all they have? Jesus. Well, Ephesians 5 6 says Like a normal Bible Man episode has better true. fights than this. Those scriptures didn't apply to us. He misused them. Once again, God's word prevails. God will always prevail. Now, back to the cave. Wanna go? Hi, kids. Sometimes we can feel all alone. Why were they covered in chrome? I don't know, because future. Maybe that's it. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. Today I know I've been very distracted. Like I said earlier, don't have my meds until at least tomorrow, so I'm having a hard time. But I thank you all for hanging out with me today and just watching kind of weird stuff. I'm sorry I didn't, uh... 
I wasn't as emotive as usual and attentive, and I genuinely apologize for that. But tomorrow we'll be back and hopefully a lot better after I get my meds. So who can we raid? Shark, I guess? All right, so have a good night, everyone. I'll see you all later, and uh, stay cool. If this will work. There we go. Mm -hmm. It'll maybe start. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, we'll, we'll do something more. I've been doing things for my mental health recently. That's why we haven't been doing Chud Watch. But I know it's popular, and I know you guys want to see Chud Watch, so we'll do it. Um, I've just, I've been, things have been rough. So anyway, have a good night, everyone. Bye.